Spoilers ahead for Wednesday on Netflix. Wednesday learns that the monster on the loose is called a hide, something that can transform from human to monster. The hide is working with a human to carry out these attacks. Fortunately, by the end of the season, Wednesday catches them both. But it's not an easy task. Who is the hide in Wednesday? Though Wednesday is convinced her classmate Xavier is the hide, she realizes in the penultimate episode that it's been Tyler all along. And the timing is pretty awful. During their first kiss, Wednesday has a vision that shows her the truth. Though Tyler denies it at first, we see him transform into the monster in the finale and the secret's out. Tyler almost kills Wednesday when he attacks her in the woods, but fortunately Wednesday's werewolf roommate Enid appears in the nick of time and fights off the monster. Tyler gets pretty badly wounded but he doesn't die, as we see at the very end of the episode. Who is the real Laurel Gates in Wednesday? Another big mystery that presents itself to Wednesday later on in the show is who Laurel Gates is. As we learn, a Nevermore student named Garrett Gates was killed by Morticia Adams back when she attended the school for outcasts, and Wednesday starts to sniff out that Garrett's sister is hiding in plain sight. Though she initially believes Laurel was her psychiatrist, Dr. Valerie Kinbot, she turns out to be wrong. Because Wednesday sees Xavier confiding in Dr. Kinbot, she wrongfully accuses her psychiatrist of being the human who's helping the Hyde attack people. But the Hyde ends up killing Dr. Kinbot, leaving Wednesday with more questions than answers. Once she finds out Tyler is the Hyde, not Xavier, she and the headmistress Larissa Weems suspect Ms. Thornhill. And they're right. Ms. Thornhill is the real Laurel Gates. Does Larissa Weems die in Wednesday? Though it's an awesome feat that Wednesday and Weems uncover who the real Laurel is, their discovery leads to death, unfortunately. When they confront Ms. Thornhill, she stabs Weems with a poison injection of Nightshade, which kills her. By the end of the finale, Nevermore gets shut down for the remainder of the semester and it makes sense why. On top of all the violence and trauma the students go through, they're also left with no headmistress. What happens at the end of Wednesday? After Enid fights off Tyler and Wednesday finds out who the real Laurel Gates is, the only thing left to do is to take her down. But it's not that easy, especially when Laurel summons the ghost of a founding father, Joseph Crackstone. Now Wednesday has two people to defeat, though they don't actually seem to be on the same team. Crackstone has his own agenda and leaves Laurel behind when they arrive at Nevermore. With the help of her classmates like Bianca, Xavier, and Eugene, Wednesday ends up defeating both Crackstone and Laurel, saving the day in the process. So yes, she does catch the killers in the end and she takes them down. When all the dust settles, the students of Nevermore are dismissed for the rest of the semester, and Wednesday has a cute conversation with Xavier before leaving. Though there's still nothing more than a slight flirtationship, Xavier does gift Wednesday a cell phone so they can text while they're home. As Wednesday is being driven home by Lurch, she receives a text message, but not from Xavier. Nope, this one is from an unknown sender, and they're watching her. They send her photos of her with Tyler and Xavier, along with a gif that depicts her being harmed. Wednesday notes she has a stalker, and she sounds excited about the upcoming challenge. Will there be a Wednesday season 2? Wednesday ends on a small cliffhanger as we learn that she's got a stalker, and the show definitely opens itself up for more seasons. At this time, however, Netflix has not announced a Wednesday season 2. But that's not particularly concerning. The streamer will likely have to analyze the viewership numbers for the first season before deciding whether or not the show will continue. Considering Wednesday just came out today, we might have to wait a little bit before finding out what the show's future is. Fingers crossed Netflix renews Wednesday for a second season, and in the meantime be sure to watch and re-watch all eight episodes of the premiere season now.